Hey fam, it's Ivy, and I'm back once again with another product review. <laughs> I'm laughing because I am a recovering product junkie. I said recovering, all right? I'm not there yet. I'm not at the 12 steps of the program. I'm probably like maybe at step four, so you're going to have to give me some time to, you know, go through the full recovery process. <laughs> I love hair products. I love them. And the sad thing is I know exactly what my hair likes. So there's no need for me to try products. Uh, the only thing I'm going to search for is my Holy Grail leave-in conditioner. I have a few that I really love, but there's a few that I really want to try. So th that's a whole nother story. Today I'm doing a product review on Silk Dreams Hair Care. I don't know if you've heard of them. And Silk Dreams is a line that was started by one of my forum sisters. Hi, Supergirl. Her name is Supergirl. That's her tag name. And um, she has the most long, healthy, thick, beautiful, relaxed hair that I've ever seen. She's been waist length, tailbone length before I've seen anybody on YouTube waist length or tailbone length. So she used to mix up her own concoctions. We called her a kitchen um, beautician. And she started her own line. So she was having a sale and I decided to try the products. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Vanilla Silk Cream Moisture Dream. It's a conditioner. I'm going to be reviewing the Destination Hydration Moisture Conditioner. And as you can see... Yeah, I've been using this, and this is almost non-existent. And the Creme de la Silk, and that is a leave-in conditioner. So let's get started. I'll start with the Creme de la Silk, and it is a leave-in conditioner, and it says, Suggested use. Place a small amount in your hands, and you rub it together to warm up the product, and you distribute it through wet hair, freshly washed wet hair. Um, after conditioning. You can also use a small amount on dry hair and seal it with an oil. If you like to use this, you can moisturize and seal with this. Um, the ingredients are aloe vera leaf juice. I don't know if you guys notice, I'm always like squinting or I don't have, <laughs> I think I need glasses. I'm going to get back to you on that. Um, so I'm having trouble reading it. But aloe vera leaf juice, uh, jojoba butter, caprylic triglycerides, rice bran oil, honey, emulsifying wax, hydrolyzed silk protein, uh, coconut milk, panthenol, Hydrolyzed rice protein, aloe leaf extract, macadamia, nut oil, tamaru nut oil, if I'm pronouncing it right, T-A-M-A-R-U, but like I said, my eyes, um, and olive oil, rosemary, and it has like certain normal, um, Things to preserve it and to prevent it from going bad, which is germ oil, fragrance, um, CO2 extract. All of her products smell like a, um, a sugar cookie. If you ever had the sugar cookie candles or smelled them from Yankee Candle, it smells exactly like that. It smells really good. This is, it's thick, it's kind of whipped, kind of like a butter. It probably has like a Greek yogurt consistency. And it does not leave your hair weighed down. It rubs in kind of like almost you can use it as a skin, um, as a skin cream. You see it has some sheen, but it's not greasy at all. I've never used this on straight hair, roller set hair, or blown out and flat ironed hair. I've used this on um, braid outs, and that's exactly how I used it. I, After doing a deep moisturizing conditioner, I saturated my hair with this. 
Um, depending on the thickness of your hair, you should know how much your hair can take. I would do a little at a time and keep trying. And I sealed it with avocado oil and I did a braid out. And my hair was very light, very fluffy, very shiny. I really like this. The next thing is the Vanilla Silk Cream Moisture Dream. And this is a favorite on the Hair Care Forum. Um, let me see. It's more, it's lighter than that. It's kind of like a whipped product. It's very light, but it's very thick and creamy at the same time. I'm going to tell you what it says. It says, get ready for moist, supple, manageable hair. This rich conditioning cream will help you get your moisture, moisture groove back. Go ahead, Supergirl. <laughs> uh, silk protein products and softens your hair while honey, apricot kernel oil, jojoba oil, and aloe wrap your tresses in silky moisture. And this is exactly what it did. This product um, did not give my hair, the thing that I don't care about with this product is it didn't give a lot of slip on my hair. This is a favorite on the form, so a lot of people probably get great slip. But what I definitely only, only con, I didn't have great slip, but that's something you can work out with taking your time and properly detangling your hair. Now, when I put on a plastic cap and sat under the dryer, I can't even explain how my hair felt when I washed it out. It was so soft and it was wet, but it felt like cream. I don't know. It's hard to explain. My hair was extremely soft. My hair felt extremely moisturized and I love this product. If it had more slip, it would be my number one, but it's still in my top 10. So... Uh, it says the ingredients on this, the first ingredient is water, acetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol, um, vanilla butter, coconut palm, coconut oil, palm oil, vanilla, honey, jojoba oil, aloe vera leaf juice, apricot kernel oil, um, honey again, hydrolyzed milk protein, hydrolyzed Silk protein, panthen oil, germ oil, of course, germ oil, which is a um, preservative and fragrance. So I really like this. This is my favorite of the line that I've tried out of the three products. She does have other products on the site. These are three products that I purchased with my own money um, when she had a sale. And this is the Destination Hydration Moisture Conditioner. This is in my top five moisturizing conditioners that I have tried so far. Um, it is, first ingredient is water, acetyl alcohol, um, avocado oil, which is probably why my hair loves it. My hair loves avocado oil. Methyl sulfate, sorry, I'm trying to, it's very small. You can see the writing, it's like tiny. Um, avocado butter, rice bran oil, panthen oil, white honey, hydrolyzed wheat protein, lactic acid, germ oil, and fragrance. I love this. As you can see, it's gone. I use this a lot. Um, whenever I need a deep moisturizing conditioner, I rotate between this and a couple of other ones. And I will be doing a video on my conditioners that give the hair the most slip. This gave my hair slip like nobody's business. Um, it's kind of the consistency of a lotion, which is kind of odd because I would think that I would get more slip from this because it's thicker than this but like I said this is it does have milk protein and silk protein which shouldn't harden your hair because that's kind of the lightest of proteins that you can get but um I absolutely love this it says suggest the use apply to wet hair from root to tip leave in the hair for three to five minutes for extra conditioning leave on 15 minutes with a plastic cap and rinse. Uh, that's exactly what I did. I left it on probably for like 30 minutes. I sat under the dryer 
and I rinsed it out and the comb just like butter glide it glide glided right through my hair I absolutely love this like I said um, she has beautiful hair um, you can Google Supergirl I'm sure you can see pictures of her long thick hair and if you do see recent pictures that was probably about four years ago um, the site is silk dreams haircare.com this is my honest honest review I paid for these with my own money these three right here so this is my absolute favorite I would definitely definitely repurchase this again this um, I like it but it's not something that I absolutely have to have but I will use all of this and then I'll revisit it I haven't used it that much I did dig out a little bit um, I'll revisit it today and I'll see if it changes my mind it's not a bad product a lot of people love it for my hair it wasn't what I needed it wasn't that holy grail leave-in conditioner that I want to search for this I would definitely repurchase as well um, but more than likely if I ever order anything else from her site it would be this and I would try a different product because I know I love this I like this this is okay so being that um I told Supergirl that I would be reviewing her product she was kind enough to give me an own opened vanilla silk cream um, and I'll be giving this away. So stay tuned for the demonstration of the product and then I'll tell you exactly what you have to do to get this product. I'll be back. Okay, I am back with uh, freshly washed hair. Um, you can see I have a lot of texture in there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the first quarter of my hair. And I'm going to be using this because it's almost finished. So I'm going to use the Vanilla Silk Cream Moisture Dream. I keep messing up the name. So the Vanilla Silk Cream Moisture Dream. And I only have a little left so I'm going to just use it on a quarter. And I'm going to clip my hair off while I sit under the dryer so you can see the difference after I rinse it out in the section so what I usually do is I make sure I get my edges really well when I'm conditioning and I don't know if I mentioned it but I use the um A sulfate free shampoo. I use the Elastic QP cream conditioning shampoo. That is my favorite sulfate free shampoo and trust me I've tried them all. <laughs> Unless any newer ones are on the market. So I'm just, the only reason why I'm separating it like this is I want to make sure I get to my roots because they are extremely thick and I just want to make sure that I'm moisturizing that line of demarcation because I am so far post you can barely even see the part I'm just running it through my new growth and then I'll go back to the ends <clears throat> Let my roots are thoroughly saturated. I'm going to focus on my ends and go up to the mid shaft.
And I'm a little heavy handed with my conditioner, especially the longer I am in my stretch. So see, this like goes, of course, cause I didn't go from the bottom, but this kind of glides right through my hair. That's not the conditioner, that's just my hair being, um, getting tangled. If I part it. It's like it goes right through. Let me go from the end, sorry. And I can go from root almost all the way down. If my hair wasn't getting so tangled, but it's definitely... Not the conditioner. All right, I'm gonna repeat the um, back half of my hair with the um, Destination Hydration Moisture. Of course, this is finished and it's on this side. And I'm going to put on a plastic cap. I'm going to sit under the dryer for about 15 minutes. Um, going to take a rag, sorry. Put very warm water on it, as hot as I can tolerate. Wring it out. Wrap my hair around. I'm going to clip the rag to my head tight with this clip. I'm going to put on a plastic cap to kind of give myself a steam treatment without having an actual steamer. So, and I'll be back to show you the difference and how it looks and to use the leave-in conditioner. Okay, I'm back. My hair has been thoroughly conditioned. It is so soft, especially up in the area that has more texture than the ends, which were when I used to relax bone straight. So, it's really soft. Um... I'm trying to notice if there's a difference between the two sides. They're both soft. My new growth is extremely soft. Yeah, that's the only real difference for me between the conditioners. Um, this one has way more slip. This one gives less slip on my hair, and this is the Destination Hydration Moisture Conditioner that gives me way more slip than the Vanilla Silk Cream Moisture Dream, but they're both extremely moisturizing once you deep condition and rinse them out, if that makes sense. I didn't add any oils. I didn't add anything to it because I wanted to see how the product worked on its own. You can always kind of doctor up any... Um, conditioner creme de la silk in my opinion so if you really want to see how a conditioner really works on your hair I suggest you do a sulfate even though some people don't like sulfates just do a pre pool before your sulfate or do a hot oil treatment leave the oil in for a few hours and um, that way it blocks some of the cleansing agent from the conditioner because that's the only way you can really tell how the conditioner is working because if you're not starting off with squeaky clean hair or freshly cleaned hair no product at all in your hair you won't really be able to see how the conditioner is working in my opinion so when I'm trying a new conditioner I usually start. And when I use sulfates, you only need one shampoo. I usually shampoo once with sulfates. I rinse my hair thoroughly. I shampoo with a sulfate shampoo once. And then I will use my sulfate free shampoo to follow it up. So I'm just putting this all through my hair. That's the creme de la silk. Leave-in conditioner. Yes, yeah, so I totally forgot about the giveaway. I will be giving away the Vanilla Silk Cream Moisture Dream if you're interested in this product. 
Uh, of course, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. Duh, ma. That's what my son always says. Duh, ma. Adopt people. Adopt. Because <laughs> the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. My son is hilarious. I have a future com com comedian in training. So yeah, thumbs up. Just put down below. Um, I want that product. I want to try it. You can put whatever comment you'd like down below. Um, sometimes if you put enter me, enter me, enter me, enter me, it'll flag the video and it'll show up as spam and I won't be able to see your entry. So just thumbs up. You must be a subscriber and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. And right now this is about to be braided up and I'm going back into protective mode. So stay tuned for my next review, which should be in a couple of weeks. Um, to the company that sent me the package. I am definitely on it. Definitely on it. I've already started using your products. Okay, so I sprayed my hair down and I detangled with a VO5 Detangle and Shine Spray. It's pretty good. Um, I don't like it better than a mane and tail. I usually use a detangler when I'm coming out of a braid out to lightly detangle my hair prior to um, shampooing and conditioning. And then I'm going to shampoo with my handy dan You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, right. Freaking don't even have any more. I'm not supposed to comb through my freaking hair.